profiles that your books are about real life raw stories people um, who have overcome obstacles and um, now they're successful could you share a little bit about that um, after you answer the first question could you share a little bit about maybe one person who overcame an obstacle in your book well to start off the person the real raw and relatable stories in my book are a representation of you me, you, all of us here today, because we all have the same shared experiences. And people have been very gracious to share, to open up their life stories and share it so that I can share it with you so that you can be blessed. And we don't have to all experience and live everything to understand it. Glass houses. If you live in a glass house, don't throw stones. Because one might just come back through your window and broke your collarbone. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Those are the words of Little Miss Lou. Uh, Miss Greaves, her name is Courtney Greaves. And I went to the Miss Lou function and she said that poem. And that one connected, that stone connect me. I said, yes, that's what I'm all about. Because glass houses is about the fact that we're never really in a position to be pointing fingers, throwing stones, because why? We all have our flaws, right? Yes. If you have money problem, may have it too. We might have a little, you might have too much spending a lot. If me have man problem, you have it too, <laughs> right? If me have work problem, the boss has stressed me, you have it too, you might own your own business, but you are, you're not the boss because you have to work for this, that business that and there to keep the doors open. So while you're pointing at me saying, boy, then people that work with you, them can't even go find, go, go be entrepreneurs and start their own business. You are work night and day while my nine to five me clock out and gone. So we're really never in a position to be pointing fingers because we have some variation of the same problems. Mm -hmm. As I say, we're all walking, living, breathing glass houses because we're all vulnerable and fragile. So we're never truly in a position to say, listen, you're a loser, you're a failure because when you do that, so are you. Four ah. fingers pointing right back at you. Amen. Amen.